south of the border, opened in 1950. This little roadside attraction once employed over 700 people. Now, in 2023, employs, well, much less than that. Today, I take you on a tour to see what south of the border looks like in 2020, 2023. Also, make sure to subscribe because I just moved into my Jeep and I'm traveling around the country making a bunch of these adventure vlogs. Okay, enjoy the video. Today I am at South of the Border, a fun little roadside attraction right off of I-95. Hi, my name is Kyle and if you're new here, I am traveling the country living out of my Jeep Grand Cherokee. I have it set up as like a van life camper. So South of the Border is located in South Carolina, right below the border of South Carolina and North Carolina. And it's really quirky and silly, but I mean, it's fun. Their mascot is a guy named Pedro and there's like thousands of them. Pedro is just all over the place. I remember the first time I was here, I think it was back in like 2015. And my friends and I, we would just like walk around here and we would just call everybody and everything Pedro. So that's Pedro. That's Pedro. That car is Pedro. That bear is Pedro. And uh, this tree right here is also Pedro. All right, so I'm gonna walk around and I'm gonna show you guys like all the cool things here. There's plenty of shops and restaurants and little interesting things like there's this tower right here, which is never open. I mean, every single time that I've been here for years, they always say, oh, it's almost, it's almost open. They're working on it. They're working on it. It's almost open. We'll see if it's open today. If it ever does open, you will be able to go all the way up there and look out. But there's a mini golf course here. There's a camping site. Um, there's, they sell a bunch of fireworks, several gas stations. There's a bar, multiple restaurants. There's a truck stop. And there's also Epcot. That was a joke, by the way, that's not actually Epcot. I'm not, I don't want to lie to you and deceive you or anything. Epcot's not actually here, it's in Disney World. But there's a flamingo. There's actually two flamingos. There's actually several more flamingos. But this one right here, this one definitely is the most flamingo out of the flamingos and it deserves a high five. Um, just, let's just imagine that there's a hand right there. Also, yeah, this is my Jeep Grand Cherokee. I am basically the best parker in the world. Um, even better than Peter, to be honest. All right, without further ado, let me take you on a tour around south of the border. Here's Rhino Pedro. I think it'd be really cool if they, like, if south of the border came up with like a storyline behind it or had like a character meet. I was doing some research online and I found out that in its heyday, south of the border employed 700 people of um, people in like the surrounding towns. And now it's down to like 300. It's actually down probably further than that. I think it was like 300 like a year or two ago, but I don't think that there's any way that there's like 300 employees right now. This place did open up in 1950. So it's been in business for over 70 years, 72 years to be uh, more accurate with my math skills. Okay, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go in here and we're gonna see if this is open. Look at this, this is a cool arcade. Look. Yeah, they have a really cool arcade in here. We'll call it the Pedro Arcade. Arcade Pedro. Foosball. Pool. Arcade machines. The smell of skunk. I don't know what that smell is. Wait, you know when the last time it was open? Three days ago? I missed it by three days. Have a good one. Okay, I don't know if you could hear her. I guess there was the sound of arcade music. But she said that this place is closed now, which I assumed it was going to be. But I asked her what, when the last time it was open was, and she said three days ago. I wonder if that's true. I mean, is that true? It's just never open. But she said that they are doing some repairs on the top right now. She said I missed it by three days. That's like only one more day than two. It's crazy. This right here is the big south of the border sign. But yeah, they have public restrooms. So I'll usually stop here on my way down to Florida. And like, this will be like one of the places where I pull off, use the restroom and I'll get some food from in here. Honestly, this place has some really good food and it's really cheap, but they're actually closed down for renovations right now. Right there is Burger Pedro. Yeah, right here, here's the big old Pedro. I want to see if I can touch his hat. I mean, I would have to probably do some illegal things to be honest, like climb on that trash can. Okay, I'm not gonna do this today, but one of these days my goal in life is to touch Pedro's hat right there or sombrero. 
So friend of the channel, Adam the Woo, actually has made several videos here. And he showed this spark plug right here where everybody puts their stickers. And he showed himself putting one of his stickers on here. And it was only about 10 months ago. So we're gonna see if his sticker is still on here. Right over there it says SOB, like south of the border. It's, it's kind of funny. Wrestler. Just watching this video yeah, to see where he put it. Have put their sticker here for posterity. And now mine again, another one is now added to the spark plug. All right, so you see the signs in the picture and then you see the signs up there. So I've matched it up and it looks like his sticker should be you see that open builds sticker, which is right here. Right here is the ordinary one, which means Adam's sticker should be right here. So either somebody took it or it's underneath of this one. So we'll see if somebody just placed their stickers over it. There's a YouTube channel of the Hitchhiking Yeti. I'll have to check them out. So that is a breaking news update. Adam the Woo's sticker is no longer here at south of the border. But yeah, I do what I can. I try to do my journalistic duties and there's just another case of where I just go above and beyond to document real life and the struggles and the updates on what's happening in the world. So there you go. All right, well, I think it's about time that we go check out one of these shops. Last time I came here, I did go in here to this one. There is a great white shark. So I think we should go check out that great white shark. But yeah, they have a lot of like interesting little gift shops here where they sell things. So yeah, Pedro's Myrtle Beach Shop. Here's a whale. Pedro's Myrtle Beach Shop. We're like hours away from Myrtle Beach. No pets allowed. Well, my camera is uh, not a pet, so. Okay, we're here to check out this great white shark. <gasps> I see it. Okay, what's more impressive, this great white shark or this flamingo? I don't know, I think both are cool. So this creature was captured off the coast of Barbados. I mean, it kind of seems like it was made in a factory. Do not sit in shark mouth. Do you think anybody's tried to do that actually? But yeah, real beachy vibes in here. I like the colors. Dude, honestly, Pedro is such a staple and icon. Honestly, Pedro is so cool that I want to get a little, a little action figure of him to take with me. You think one of these gift shops sells little Pedro action figures? That'd be pretty cool. I actually know that they do. Just a tiny little Pedro action figure to take with me on my travels. So they have a bar here and it was recently renovated and it actually looks insane. Like you wouldn't think that it would look this cool because like as much as I love South of the Border, it is kind of tacky, right? <laughs> like it's kind of quirky, kind of silly, but, there, but I like went inside the bar and it's actually kind of fancy. So they have an ice cream shop in here, which is really cool. They have like a bunch of flavors. Do you guys have any blood flavored ice cream? We don't have any. Yeah, I'll just take cookies and cream. So this is my favorite thing about south of the border is these people. Ernesto de la Cruz. I feel like he's missing a guitar. I think he was definitely made to be holding a guitar right here. But this is like my favorite part of South of the Border because Coco is honestly one of my favorite movies. Like not even just favorite Disney movies, like it's just one of my favorite movies in general. I found so many Dorries. I'm like so good at finding Dory to be honest. Like the one dude couldn't even do it in the whole movie. It took him forever. It took him like a whole movie to find Dory. Just like didn't take me any time at all. It's like bless this food, the love between us, faith, family, friends. Shower with me. Sometimes I like just wake up and choose chaos. They have Pedro plush dolls. That's funny. Why am I actually tempted to buy one? Dude, what? That's crazy. Is there someone else? Yes, Pedro. You never sausage a place. You're always a wiener at Pedro's. Yes, Pedro Christmas ornaments, that's hilarious. Okay, I definitely have to get a couple of these. And I know what it does. It's just a little bit just Oh shoot, you can actually buy them. Day of the Dead handmade lady, $3,500. You can actually buy this, that's awesome. Wait, I wonder if you could actually buy Ernesto de la Cruz too. I don't see a price tag. It's because Ernesto's priceless. I love this. They have Pedro lunch boxes. Wow, that's awesome. 
<laughs> That's actually really cool. And they have Pedro pencils. How cool is this? I would love so much if South of the Border actually did like character meets and they like hired somebody to be Pedro. You could like meet them. Whoa, it's like six bucks for one of those pencils. That's pretty crazy though. Pedro flip flops. That's cool. Look at this right here. <laughs> it's the minion. That hair is creepy. It's like a Pedro minion. All right, we've secured the package. We got three of these little bumper stickers. I just really want to touch Pedro Sombrero. All right, so something else that's interesting is the Impractical Jokers filmed their movie here. But you can see the background matches up completely. It's just that this right here used to be red, but now it's blue. That's the only difference. Because this was filmed a couple years ago and they repainted it. But yeah, this right here is where Murr was. And then right here, this is where my car is parked right now. You can see right there, the South of the Border sign. And then it's also right there. It's also funny, you can see the Pedro is in the background of the clip right there. And then you can see them. Oh, there's a truck in the way. And then you can see them right there as well. Pedro's Mexico shop. Bro, they have another Ernesto de la Cruz in here. That's crazy, no guitar still. Okay, I found another bad pun. Pedro's weather report. Chilly today, hot tamale, like tomorrow. But like tamale doesn't sound enough like tomorrow for it to be funny, but that's just my opinion. All right, so I was gonna eat here because this is usually where I stop and eat, but they are closed for renovations right now. So I'm thinking what I'm gonna do is get like a snack or two here at this gas station. Right there's the spark plug where we visited earlier. But yeah, this is where I always fill up on gas. And they have snacks in here. Also, there's something else in there that I wanna get too. Look at this. My new little addition. All right, that wraps it up for today's video. Make sure to subscribe. I will see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.